tonight I would like to speak about ins inspecting your crank and how to do it and there are several key points that you check there are runouts I think it's called runout that you should uh, check the the runout at the ends according to your service manual my bike should be like 0 0.03 millimeters and you should check the bearings if they are turning freely without noise or not excessive noise and there is another bearing in the crankcase and you check the connecting rod play and side to side play if it's not excessive it's okay and there is this big end gap it's called you can insert a feeler gauge between the crank and the connecting rod and you can check it but as i said side to side play is okay what is what's important is uh, if there is play in this direction so how you check it you you have your crank and you push it and pull it and if there is any play in that way then your crank needs to be replaced and there is one thing that is overlooked is actually this diameter and in my case I guess I'm, I'm a bit off but my service manual doesn't tell me what's the specs for this hole it only tells me the specs for the wrist pin but as you look at my wrist pin there was something wrong going on but I don't know if it's because of the uh, the diameters because there was something wrong going on with the heat um, perhaps I did something wrong or perhaps the lubrication system was wrong blah 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 and as I, I, I can say if you help me I'll be happy uh, this is 13.99 that's that's dead on at factory specs and this is 14 three if i remember right yeah 14 0 0.3 so like 0 0.04 millimeter difference between between these two i don't know if it's acceptable but what i mean that insert your wrist pin and check if there is also any game in here any play in here that's also really important so i guess that's all i want to talk about about inspection i wanted to make a short video anyway Thanks for watching and please subscribe.